Hi, my name is Julia Kuzmenko and today I'd like to share a few tips about stylus nibs. Everyone who is even slightly serious about retouching works with a graphics tablet. And Wacom is undeniably the leader tablet manufacturer. There are various Wacom tablets that one can purchase these days, but we will talk about that in a different video. And today I'd like to talk about the stylus nibs. A little bit of a backstory. I bought my first tablet in 203 medium size in 2009 while studying photography in Australia. And it was great, it traveled the world with me. And then in 2011, my husband gave me an Intuos 4, a small tablet, as a Christmas gift. In 2012, I was fortunate to win the After Capture Digital Imaging Contest, and my prize was a brand new at the time Intuos 5, medium size touch tablet. But I quickly realized that I wanted to go back to my small tablet as it was more comfortable for me to work on. So long story short, until this day I have been working with my 2011 small Intuos 4 and it's still working just like it did on day one. Kudos to Wacom for such a great quality product. But there are two parts of the device that work the hardest and eventually wear out. It's the surface of the working area of the tablet itself and the pen nibs. The surface of my tablet, while showing obvious signs of a hard work in life, still functions perfectly. But a couple of weeks ago, my current nib started causing troubles. It started to affect my work to the point that I decided to hold off some of the retouching jobs until after I got my new nibs. The replacement nibs are pretty inexpensive and there are five of them in the pack, so if retouching is your job or a part of your job, it might make sense for you to try different types and find the one that feels the most convenient for you. So now that I have tried working with a few different nib types, I can share some thoughts on each, but please keep in mind that it's just as individual as the way one holds a pen or a brush, so I still suggest that you try them and see for yourself. So the black plastic standard nibs are hard to the touch. They almost make me feel like scratching the surface of the tablet, so these are not my favorite. And you may also find some reviews that these nibs wear out fast. But when you read reviews about stylus and nib types, keep in mind that the other large community of Wacom tablet users are digital painters and illustrators. Very often they use pen pressure sensitivity and this can shorten the life of a nib drastically, depending on how hard they press against the surface of the tablet. Being a retoucher, I personally turn off pressure sensitivity as I feel that I have more control over my brush strokes without it and that also prolongs the life of my nibs. Heartfelt nibs are compared to pencil on paper kind of feel in the Wacom store. These nibs also wear out relatively fast, but again, it depends on your habits and how hard you press on your stylus. Stroke nibs are great. They're soft with a brush-like feel. They're great if you, like me, prefer working with soft brushes, but for me personally, they feel a little bit too soft, sliding along the surface a little too easy, so I notice that my brush strokes become a little wobbly and it's harder for me to control them. So my personal winner is the Flex Nib. These have a little rubber tip and it is softer than standard and hard felt nib, but thanks to the rubber tip, the pen does not slide too easily like the stroke nibs do and I have a lot more control and confidence in every brush stroke. So if you have not yet changed your standard tip ever since you purchased your tablet, take a peek into your pen stand and try different nibs until you find the one that works best for you. I believe that the softness or hardness of the stylus nib, just like the size of the tablet, is something that every artist needs to choose for themselves. It's very individual, so try and fill out different nibs and find the one that feels best in your hand. You will find a little metal ring in the center of the pan stand. Pull it out and grab the tip of the nib with it to pull the nib out of the pan, and then carefully push another nib into the pan with your fingers. That's all. Hope this was helpful. Till next time.